What would you do if you had a million dollars to spare? Well, it seems that most business students in Singapore would use that lump sum to start their own businesses. From food and beverage businesses to the social networking industry, these students have their sights set on changing the world and making their own rules. Well, a couple of friends and I have been looking into the social networking industry and uh, how we can manipulate uh, social networking sites to use them for advertising purposes beyond the normal, beyond what's being offered now. It's more like um, writing a code for Facebook and uh, using that code do more functions than just the normal advertising purposes. Uh. I'll go into retail, uh, but which specific uh, object is it? I'm not sure yet. Yeah. For me, I'm interested in to uh, real estate and maybe a little bit of construction, uh, touching up of the homes. Uh, probably something to do with arts and maybe help to market artists in Singapore, bring it to an international level, that kind of thing. A kind of theatrical yeah, business. Like, I, I, I'm thinking of building a, a theatre and... Yeah, kind of thing. Uh, why, why a theatre? Because uh, I'm interested in um, staging and all things, so... Mm, beauty products related or consumer products. Why this kind of product? Uh, I think firstly because I have a great interest in them and I believe in Singapore there's still room for improvement and changes for these kind of industries. Personally, I'll probably go into like food and beverage business and especially like because when I look around in Singapore, there's quite a lot of like local cafes and restaurants that seem to be doing quite well as compared to like maybe clothes shop or something like that. I haven't exactly decided but I think F&B will be quite interesting. There's this um, Korean dessert called Pad Bing Su, which is very popular in Korea. And yeah, as in a bunch of friends and I, we think that it'll be quite successful if it comes to Singapore. Yeah, because especially in our kind of climate. Do you think setting up a business is easy? No, it's definitely not. It's definitely not easy. Um, it requires a lot of time, it requires a lot of effort, and chances are most businesses fail. So you really have to be able to take risks and just not give up. Definitely not. Firstly, you need a lot of capital. Yeah. Then secondly, you need to understand the market world. That's why I think experience is very important. No, I don't think so. Um, you need to know how to coordinate different sectors and you need a lot of fundings as well. Uh, definitely not, but I think if you have an idea that you think is feasible and is good and you're willing to go for it, then definitely you should try. Yeah. Where will you get your capital from? I'll probably pitch to certain investors to try and get some um, um, capitals from them. Else, uh, I'll try and work myself before branching out into entrepreneurship in the future. I know it's possible that you can like approach like venture capitalists. You know, like um, you show them your proposals and then you get them to like fund your ideas. But I think that is mostly for like big scale businesses. But if it's like small cafes, or whatever, it probably starts off with just money from. Your, your, your friends, your family, they are willing to sponsor and invest in your idea. For us students, we tend to participate in like competitions and stuff to, because upon participating for competitions, we'll be entitled to grants and yeah, Singapore, the government does provide quite a lot of grants for startups. So will you develop your, your business into something bigger or keep it small? Uh, it all depends on how well it does. If it's not doing well, then there's no point in spending either. It would be nice to grow into something big, but then uh, a lot of things will have to depend on luck. Like, you know, like how much money you have, that's one thing. Like, how, how lucrative the business actually gets. Yeah, it's a lot of other factors, but it would be nice if it can get big. How much time you have, how much money you have, and how, how many people you think will be willing to do it with you. Like, if you're working alone or if you're going to have partners or shareholders. But I, I think probably you'll start off with like one or two people first. Yeah. So it would be something small? Yeah, something small. I think for like people who are our age and with our limited experience. Of course, I would like to develop to a bigger one, but I believe it takes time to build this kind of... Uh, yeah. So you have to start it small first. Uh. In the next clip, business students from NUS and SMU talk about why they would go into the food and beverage industry.